Okay, so, uh, yeah. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to do something, uh, I mean, exciting for some, maybe not for others. I mean, it's a pretty cool video. So, today we're going to see what, like, household things or other you can use as a heat sink. Like, you know, replace your current heat sink. I mean, I don't know why you want to do this, but you could replace your current heat sink with one of these items. Maybe. Let's find out. So, the first item, well, not in this specific order, but we're going to be trying graphics card, MacBook disk drive, we're going to be trying a iPod, don't worry it's broken so don't get mad at me, tin foil molded in some shape of another something, uh, that multi-tool I guess, we're also going to try this hard drive. And this is going to be the thermal compound we're using for our tests. It's just some uh, Cooler Master heatsink stuff I got with my uh, Hypermaster T2 from my last video, which you can check out right over there-ish maybe. I apologize if I sound a little far away from the microphone. I'm trying new setups and I have a new microphone. We'll, we'll just see how it goes. Okay, so the tests. The CPU I'll be using is an AMD Athlon X2. Don't know the model number. It'll be somewhere around here. Maybe I'll put it on the hard drive label. And so first we're just gonna be trying to stock heat sink and it's just using a dumb Cooler Master fan. For the test, I'll put the fan on each product. I mean, I don't know. This is a bit weird. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll put it upside down. All right, so I'll, I'll show you the computer. Okay, so this is the computer we're using. Pretty simple system. 4 gigabytes of RAM, 500 watt power supply, which is questionable. Uh, heat sink, stock heat sink. Well, it's Cooler Master, but it's basically stock heat sink. AMD Athlon CPU, again, model number just referenced. And Radeon HD 5570. Nothing special, just testing uh, heat sinks that we're making. So, probably not going to be that great, but. <laughs> That's what this video is to solve? What? Maybe? What? Okay, so, the stock cooler has been going for about 10 minutes, and it's at a pretty stable 56 uh, degrees Celsius, or 55, it's fluctuating between there. That's from uh, some tests I was doing, but that was before the 10 minutes. So I'm running Ida64, and I actually lied, it's a uh, Phenom, uh, what, 9500 quad-core? So, it's not as bad as a Athlon 2 for thermal, so we'll see a bit higher temperatures than I thought. So it's about 56-ish for uh, stock cooler. So let's now install, let's see. Hmm. First of all, what is your vote for which one will win other than stock cooler? Because of course that will win. But out of the, uh, what is it, graphics card? Uh, out of the graphics card, iPod, multi-tool, uh, CD holder, or tinfoil. I think tinfoil, but if you have a different opinion, tell me. Okay, so first, we're going to do the Mac disk drive. I think this one's broken, so I think everything we're using is broken in this video. Except for the tinfoil, because I don't think that can break. But, let's try this. Let's just shine off now. All right. Oh, oh that's gonna be pretty hard. Good latch. All right, first problem. Doesn't really fit very well. Bit too flat. Uh. All right, this is disqualified. Next item, GPU. Salsa, this is disqualified. All right, multi-tool time. All right, this will work, but I have to take off the mounting mechanism. So yeah, this is just a multi-tool. It's metal. All right, thermal compound time. Good 
Good enough. Ooh, this is runny. We're gonna get it everywhere. All right. Let's just uh, maybe put a bit on here. Now we're gonna get this off this stuff. All right. <laughs> what am I doing? All right. Everything's gonna have the fan on it. Oh my god, what am I doing? Alright, I'm gonna have to go really quick because I have a feeling it's gonna heat up really quickly. Let's see how long it takes for the fan to rev up. Oh, yeah, this is all stock fan curves. Nothing special. Oh, the fan's already ramping up. How great. But who bets this will get past uh, the Windows boot screen? Alright, it's going. And it died. <laughs> okay. Uh, this video. All right, that's gone. That did not last. Should I even try this? It's obviously not gonna work. But I mean, for the video. I'm gonna kill the CP. Why am I doing this with the quad core? This one's not even that bad. Oh, it's ramping up even earlier. Oh my, oh, it died even quicker. Oops. Oh, that's actually pretty warm. It did conduct. Okay, so next is this four terabyte uh, Hitachi hard drive. It has bad scepters. See if this does any better. All right. Oh, there's a f stupid capacitor in the way. All right, let's mount it vertical. Okay, who thinks this one's gonna make it past post? I mean, not past post, past Windows starting up. Oh, it's not, it's not revving up really quick. The fan's not at full speed and it's on the Windows boots. Come on, hard drive. Oh my god, this would be great. I think just because the hard drive's so big and it's just all metal. Right when we boot up, I'm going to immediately open uh, Afterburner. It's the only program I could find with accurate temperatures. I don't think it'll get past Windows for very long. I think it'll manage to stay on Windows for a few minutes, maybe. Fan's not revving up yet, though. That's a good sign. Oh no. CPU temperature, 66 degrees on a hard drive. Who said hard drives aren't good for everything? It's not crashing. What? Cancel, don't open Steam. We're sitting at a nice and toast. This is the same temp, no, it was 50. This, yeah, okay. All right then. All right, what do you say will happen if we put two hard drives? I'm finding that out, my battery's running low. Okay, just revved up, it's now at 70 degrees. All right, let's put the second hard drive on. Second hard drive needs to go on quick. Oh, temperature's going down. 73 degrees, oh, uh, instead of 80. 71, 70, 69. How is this working? Hard dr <laughs> a computer cooled by hard drives and fans. Oh my God, what? No way. 
We're at 65 degrees. 64. What? How is this working? Oh my gosh. Alright, let's open up. Coming back. Uh. Alright, let's open up a stress test and uh, see how that goes. Uh, I just 64. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Up in the corner. <laughs> Start. Watch the temperatures rise. Why is my camera not focusing? 70 degrees. 71. 72. 73. Uh, I don't need to narrate these. I don't know when this computer turns off. Obviously, uh, doesn't like iPods. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, we're being cooled right now by a 4 terabyte Hitachi, uh, uh, Hitachi hard drive and a 2 terabyte Seagate hard drive. Saying at uh, 78 degrees. 79. There's no way this is going to hold up. Hard drive's still cold. Eighty-one degrees. I'm gonna let this sit for a bit. Spent a little bit. We're at a solid ninety-one degrees. It's been three minutes since we started. The hard drives are starting to get warm when I touch them. They're no longer cold. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's getting kind of warm. I think we should just pull the plug. This is definitely just trying to overheat once the uh, they run out of whatever the word will be here. Whatever, whatever I can think of. I'm just going to shut this off because it's just going to overheat and kill itself. <laughs> Let's see if it can cool itself down. Let's just close out some applications here. Oh, Discord's trying to... Why do I have Discord on this? Temperatures actually went down. They're going down. What? Hard drives successfully cool down a computer. I mean, you can't run anything intensive, but maybe on a uh, Core 2 Duo it could actually cool it. Wow. <laughs> really wasn't expecting that. Alright, what's next? Oh, yeah, tinfoil. Alright, leave in the comments below. What do you think will be more effective? Tinfoil or two hard drives? Okay. So what I'm actually going to call a success with the hard drives, which I wasn't really expecting, we're going to move on uh, to tinfoil. So we need a lot of surface area. Let's first make it into the shape. That seems fine. I'm putting a lot of therm thermal compound on this because there's so many crinkles. Alright, let's just uh... I guess that's good. Built-in fan support. It's like it's like it's a real it's a real heat sink, right? That's going to get caught in the fans. Let's turn it on. All right, yeah, that got that really got caught in the fans. There we go. Remember this. I thought the tin foil was going to be the best. I could have crafted it into something better. It's not very good, but. Let's let's see. Oh, my guess may have been very wrong. And it shut off. There was like no coverage. I think that might be the problem. Let's start over. All 
はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、はい、This has tri、uh, heat fin design. Way better than how many are on this one. You only need three. That's the new way of、uh, heat sinks. I foresee it. Just letting the CPU cool down a bit. It's still like, really hot. Yeah, I don't see this working. I see why it's not working. Tinfoil is never going to work. It just doesn't, it just can't store enough heat and can't just can't anticipate it as fast. Alright, that's kind of disappointing. I thought the tinfoil would be the best, but it's the hard drives that did the best. That's interesting. Okay, so I guess that concludes it for this video. I could not find anything else to put on it. Sorry about the graphics card, I'm actually disappointed I couldn't put that on. Probably should have checked in advance to make sure it fit, but that's just how we do things around here, I guess. So, to clarify, the hard drives did the best, other than the stock cooler, of course. Hard drives kept growing up, they probably would have overheated with the stress test, but you could do like web browsing, might not actually shut down on you somehow. So, that worked. Nothing else worked though. Tinfoil didn't work. I, th I, I thought the tinfoil was going to work the best. What did you think worked the best? Already asked that, but I'll read the comments to see who was right、uh, or how many people just waited till the end of the video or skipped to the end of the video and then just said what actually worked the best. So,、uh, thanks for the 100 subscribers that just happened today when I was filming this video.、Uh, please put in the comments what you want.、Uh, Me to do next. Someone said, do a video where you do change the thermal compound with household objects. But, or not, well, like liquids or gels. But Jay's Two Cents already did a video on that, so I don't know if I'll do that.、Uh, person was Vex here for v o t Yeah, what was it? Vex? I don't have my phone on me. But the comment will be here somewhere, maybe? Alright, it'll be in, on the video. Because they asked me to put them in the video if they used their idea, which I didn't, sorry. But、uh, maybe if people want me to do that, I'll do different objects than what he did, so it'll be different. So thanks for watching, I guess. Subscribe if you want to. Let me please subscribe now. It's really, it's really nice. Subscribe, please. It's good.、Uh, like it, and I'll see you in the next video.